okay there is the condenser of a refrigerator and the refrigerant enters this uh, steady flow device at 900 kilopascal and 60 degrees celsius and exits as a saturated liquid and at the same pressure it is refrigerant 134a determine the heat transfer from the refrigerant to the environment per unit mass so they are asking for the lowercase q out because that is energy per mass right so in this steady flow device one inlet one exit and the mass flow rate inlet and exit conditions are given we are just asked for an energy interaction and the way to solve it is of course write down the energy balance energy the rate of energy flowing in is equal to the rate of energy flowing out this is for a steady flow open system and in this case what energies are getting in only mass is getting in right so mass flow rate times its enthalpy what energies are getting out mass and heat if you are wondering why we write energy balance this way please uh, check out my previous examples on open systems where i explain actually what is the reason we use this form of energy balance and uh, how we actually um, work on it to write down the explicit form depending on what type of system we are dealing with and here we are asked for the heat interaction per unit mass so what we can do is we can actually uh, arrange rearrange this equation we can divide each term to mass flow rate this way we actually don't know the mass flow rate so this can get out of our equation and this is uh, already equal to this way the, what the ter to the term we are looking for so if we can solve that for that term it is h1 minus h2 so all we have to do is find enthalpies at the inlet and at the exit to figure out what is the heat interaction per unit mass and looking at this inlet and exit conditions are clearly stated so it should not be difficult for us to calculate and figure out what are the enthalpies remembering this is a refrigerant so we need to look at refrigerant tables okay so for the inlet state or the first state we can say the pressure is given to be 900 and the temperature is given to be 60 degrees Celsius. First of all, we need to look at uh, the saturated refrigerant tables, which will guide us to look at the correct tables to read the properties of that refrigerant. So we are looking at saturated refrigerant tables at 900 kilopascal and the saturation temperature at that pressure is 35.51 which is lower than what we have so it means we already passed that saturation temperature we have 60 degrees celsius right which is above 35 so that means 
we there was already a phase change and we actually uh, passed that phase change region so therefore the region we are located is at that temperature is actually we have a superheated vapor okay so therefore we have So now the correct tables to look at are superheated tables, okay? At 0.9 megapascal, which is 900 kilopascal, we located that. And at, of course, the temperature was um, 60, right? 60. At this column, we are looking at... Um, the enthalpy is 295.15 okay at exit we are given the pressure pressure is 900 we are also given the actually the quality quality is zero that means we have a saturated liquid we are given it's a saturated liquid so it is very simple we're gonna go to saturation saturated liquid refrigerant tables at that pressure and gonna read what h f is okay looking at that hf is 101.62 okay so all we have to do is then uh say h1 minus h2 which is 193.5 kilojoule per kilogram.